Some professions are more meaningful than others, and if we are like in finance or art, should we eventually evolve, evolve into helping others or doing? Uh, <laughs> can I can I tell you something that happened a, a couple of years ago? A young boy, a twelve-year-old boy who was studying in one of our school, wrote a letter to me. He's just twelve years of age, he wrote a two-page letter to me. I was amazed at the clarity with which he wrote. I had never seen a twelve-year-old boy writing that kind of a letter. It was too mature and clear and beautifully articulated. So I thought, who is this fellow? I want to see him. So it's… Uh, in India, it's very rare for people to get an appointment with me because my schedule is twenty hours a day, it's fixed up seven days of the week. So I gave an appointment to this boy. So he came and said, I don't want to end up like my parents, just doing this and that, working for a living. I said, hold it. It's fine, you want to do something different is fine. But the moment you look down upon something, you will not do anything significant in your life. So I told him a simple thing. We have a center where nearly four thousand people are living and every day we have at least five to ten thousand people coming as guests and going. So I told him, see, tomorrow morning, if I close the meditation hall, everybody comes, morning sadhana starts at 5.30 in the morning there. I said, when they come for the meditation hall, if I lock it and keep it without any explanation, and if people just say, Sadhguru has locked it, everybody will think, oh, there must be a higher purpose, let's wait, all right? They will wait. One day, two days, ten days, they will wait, thinking something bigger is coming. But if I lock the dining hall, ten o'clock is our meal in the morning, suppose I close the dining hall and the word is spread, Sadhguru locked the door of the dining hall, people will think maybe today evening a feast is coming and they will wait at least till evening. But if I lock up the toilets, in the morning, people will freak within five minutes <laughs> So I asked him, which is more important, meditation, food or shit <laughs> So don't ever look up at something or look down on something. This is a simple thing you have to learn. There is nothing to look up to, there is nothing to look down upon. If this one thing you learn, never look up at anybody, never look down on anybody. If you simply learn to see everything for what it is, in every sphere of life we can do something significant. Mano Bhagyan